Witness a geothermal drilling up close and understand exactly how it is done. This is shown step by step by Heisensmacher on a typical single family house with a 220 meter deep bore. Together with the house owner, Heisensmacher defines the drilling point taking into account the space requirements. In addition to the drilling rig, space is also required for equipment such as compressors, skips, and crew vehicles. The ideal location of the borehole is easily accessible for the drilling rig and near the boiler room. Short-term traffic obstructions are to be expected during the work. Let's go! The geothermal drilling rig is on its way. The 17-ton rig will be placed at the designated location along with the drill pipe. The skip for the drilling mud is delivered and so is the compressor. This delivers the required compressed air of up to 35 bar to the drilling rig. The facade is protected for safety against uncontrolled water leakage with plastic film. Everything is in its place. Now the drilling process starts. The required drilling depth is 220 meters. The maximum depth allowed depends on geological characteristics and is different at each location. In Switzerland, most sites are suitable for geothermal energy. Before a geothermal drilling is considered, a site analysis of the property should be carried out. First, an auxiliary piping of around 30 meters is installed. This serves to guide the drill pipe and stabilize the borehole. The auxiliary piping is installed. Now, the normal drill pipe will be extended piece by piece until the planned depth is reached. The hammer drill proceeds to deepen the borehole. A water-air mixture is pumped into the soil. It brings earth and rock to the surface. When the nature of the earth changes, the sediments are collected. These are used for geological evaluations. Once the final depth has been reached, the drill pipes are pulled out again. The geothermal probe pipes are prepared on the reel and the probe base is mounted. A weight at the end facilitates sinking. The plastic pipes are rolled off in a controlled manner to the end point. Once this is reached, the functionality of the probe is checked and the geothermal probe is successfully placed in the borehole. A bentonite mixture is prepared and the borehole backfilled to stabilize the borehole and to transfer heat. The geothermal probes are shortened and sealed for protection. The geothermal probe borehole work is thus completed after three days. The machines are pulled out, the place cleared. What remains are the ends of the geothermal probe. The next step is the cable trench. This usually has a depth of 80 centimeters. Two core holes are made in the outer wall for the supply line to the house. The hose pieces for assembling the double U-probe are welded and checked. The extended pipes are sealed with compression rings where they enter the house. The cables are sanded in. The last step is to close the trench and repair of the surroundings. The geothermal probe is ready for connection to the heat pump inside the building. 